U.S. President Joe Biden is vowing retaliation after a drone attack killed three U.S. soldiers and injured dozens of others. He's blaming Iranian proxies. I do hold them responsible in the sense that they're supplying the weapons to the people who did it. I don't think we need a wider war in the Middle East. That's not what I'm looking for. The strike was claimed by an umbrella group, the Islamic Resistance in Iraq. At the Pentagon Tuesday, officials said they haven't pinpointed which faction within the group launched the attack. But one of the most prominent, Qatab Hezbollah, reportedly said it will no longer target U.S. forces in the region out of respect to the Iraqi government. U.S. officials were skeptical of that claim. Actions speak louder than words. Um, You know, there has been three attacks, to my knowledge, uh, since the 28th of January, Uh, and I'll just leave it there. So I typically make it a practice not to respond to statements from terrorist organizations from the podium here. We will hold accountable any organization that we find to be responsible for attacks on U.S. personnel in the region. President Joe Biden is coming under increasing pressure to strike back. Now, some Republicans have even called for him to strike inside of Iran. That said, for months, this administration has been saying the biggest concern that they have is that this will lead to a wider war. And it seems fairly clear that striking inside of Iran would make that more likely rather than less. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera at the State Department. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.